It's like fairy houses go coffee mugs. You and me, babe. You and me, babe. It's just nothing else like you. We're ready to go. I woke up in the middle of the night with this fantastic idea for handles. Like a gift from heaven. <laughs> No doubt, man. These particularly are not unlike other things that I've done, but um, I've never done it on a mug before. For starters, you're gonna wanna make sure that you caught the video on the double pulled handle, because that's where I'm starting. I will link it in the description and in the cards, so check that out. But for those who missed it, Here's a quick time lapse. Have you ever felt like you were just watching your pot fall apart before your eyes? <laughs> well, that's kind of what's going on here. I noticed a crack developing in this loop. And if you catch it early enough, this is totally a quick fix all you need to do is make it worse and then you can make it better score all the way to the end of the crack if the crack has gone halfway through the handle score halfway through the handle if the crack has gone all the way through the handle you're just gonna reattach those two parts with a little extra clay once you have gone all the way to the end of the crack, compress the clay and add more clay where it's needed and over the top, slip and score the whole mess. It's not any different than any other, making any other attachment. I love using this particular tool because it's rounded on the back, but I can also scoop up extra clay very easily in the little scoopy shovel-like end. <laughs> How's that for a description? And while we're making apologies, I really did think that the video quality on this was recording better than it did actually record. So I'm sorry about that too, but it is what it is. So this part began when I thought, what would happen if I approached a coffee mug the same way that I approached the fairy houses? I wanted a contrast between the flower attachments and the body of the pot itself. The mug is done in Trinity Spectacular and I'm using a Trinity ceramics white stoneware for the attachments. Now these two clay bodies play very nicely together. But I have tried other clays in other combinations before too. I encourage you to explore. See what you can put together because this worked great. Yeah. It definitely has some gradu on it and it needs cleaning up. But oh my gosh, it is so fun! So fun! I had to watch myself because I almost put this flower right up here. Right where a left hand person would take us up. That's an issue. Say goodbye to all of your left handed customers. I'm just saying. Can't have that! <laughs> I love it. Super fun.
like fairy houses go coffee mugs put together. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave them to go bone dry at this point because I seem to be gouging them with fingernails and tools. Uh, more than I am helping them by smoothing out the grotto. So y'all tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. Do you like the big flower and the butterfly? Do you like the roses? Do you like the little flowers with the bee? I like them all. Unfortunately, the kiln opening for these beauties was sacrificed for getting everything packed up and in the car for a show that we were doing uh, before Christmas, where they all sold. But I did take a little short video to show my family. I opened my kiln. Almost everything looks amazing. <laughs> While I was doing this, Superman was waxing everything. All of it. It's all waxed. And I didn't have to do any. He's amazing. Have you checked out the community tab on our YouTube page lately? Sometimes I put updates over there that I don't put anywhere else. You can also find our other social media tabs in the description. And as always, thanks for coming, everybody.